coming. Stay hidden. I, I, I think they, I think the, fa the fans, you know, from what I can see, they, they, they really want to have an Obi Wan story, and so I'm really happy that we've managed to give them one. Absolutely, I think a lot of people thought it might not happen, which yeah. is part of the joy of actually the excitement around it. Right. Is that something that you feel? Do you sort of see it on social media, or online? Do you feel the excitement that people have for what might possibly be happening? I'm glad that people are up for it. I don't see it. On, I don't do social media. I don't. I, so I don't. I'm not aware of that side of things, but. Um, yeah, I get the impression that people are excited about it, so that's good. Is playing arguably the world's most famous film villain as much fun as I think it would be? Uh, absolutely. I mean, it's it's uh, it's just a blast, you know. Um, putting putting that you know Darth Vader suit on, it, it's an incredible experience, um, and it was it was an emotional experience for me, you know, coming back after all these years and. Uh, doing more with this character uh, was very meaningful for me. Do you see the reaction as to what people say and is that sort of part of the fun of it? It is, but it's also really scary, you know? I feel like it's, it's important for me to really filter out what I'm hearing and what I'm not. And so I, I was actually just saying, like at this point, it's kind of, it's belonging to them. We're getting to the point where it's going to belong to the people now. And so it's above me what people think and I hope they like it. And do you think about the fans throughout the process and the fact that they very much have ownership over it and they want to welcome new projects and new stories and new people into the world? Well, I mean, it has to continue to grow in that way if the people want to keep the franchise around and people love it so much. And I think that that's what it's rooted in. You know, we hold tight to things that we love and we want them to stay what we remember, but you also want to welcome new fans in at the same time. And so it's a fine line. And I think I think Deborah, our director, does a really good job of writing, writing that line. Absolutely. And how are you with the spoilers? Because the one thing that people love to do, even friends are like, oh, just tell me a quick thing. Yeah. Like, if I tell you, I tell everybody. It's hard, isn't it? It is very hard. I learned that lesson very early on. You know, you post something on the internet, it is not just there for a few seconds or 24 hours. There are screen grabs, it stays. So um, I do a good job of keeping my mouth shut now. Thank you. Yeah. Just say nothing. I think that's true. So nothing at all. Just okay. Mum's the word. You still want Kenobi. He's gone. Maybe you've been looking in the wrong places. Um, truthfully, I try not to get too in the weeds with it, uh, you know, because there's a lot, there's a lot of theories, there's a lot of rumors going around. So, um, you know, it's exciting though to see the reaction that it was generally so positive to the trailer and to see the excitement for it. And I think one of the things that's been really lovely for us is just, you know, really feeling the prequel love and how that generation and so many people that grew up with those really truly loved them.